Remember back in the Garden of Eden? There was a serpent. Later, Jesus said he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I want you to know that right today, there's an enemy of your faith. And here's the deception. The deception is putting my trust in God is risky. I can't really trust him. In Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, it puts to death. This is the word of God declaring to you that that deception, that God is too risky, you can't put your trust and faith in him. Proverbs says this, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. I wrote this a couple years ago, but I wanted to read it to you and read the sentence specifically because I felt like God kind of gave this to me. I'm more convinced than ever that for God-sized things to happen, we have to remain risk-taking, faith-filled, Jesus-trusting, culture-engaging men and women of God. The church should be a safe place for a dangerous message. I really believe that Jesus-trusting, faith-filled, risk-taking, culture-engaging men and women of God are what the Father longs for. And this teaching about the armor of God equips us with the shield of faith. How many of you know that you have an enemy of your soul and he's firing fiery arrows at you on a regular basis. Some of you, just, just not be funny, some of you, those fiery arrows are going to come at you in the parking lot. Did you know that some of you don't drive so well? <laughs> and some of you will be jetting out of the parking lot, ASAP. You're hustling to get everybody there because after all, it is a race, right, to get out of the parking lot. And you all have stuff going on. So some of you will finish this teaching today. God will have met you in the worship. He will have met you in the teaching. He will have met you in the lobby. But he will have abandoned you in the parking lot. <laughs> because the fiery arrows will come. And you go, look, I can't believe they drive like that. And then some of you, it will happen in the store. You know, you just got that one errand to pick up that one thing. How can just stopping to pick up one thing have three things go wrong? I mean, just why is that? And then some of you, it won't be at the store or in the parking lot, but it'll be when you get home and you had a day in church and it felt like God met you there and you talked to him and then you get at home and when you get at home, you have to be with your family. <laughs> and you know, how many of you know that your family are the one who has access to parts of your life and being that nobody else has access to, right? All it takes is just that one wrongly placed word from somebody in your family and boom, they just cuts deeper than anybody else. It can hit that tender spot. You, you know that, Right? We live in a world where our battle is not against flesh and blood. If your spouse has ever said something to you that's cut deeply, that indeed is a representation of the fallenness of our humanity. But I want you to understand that's also spiritual warfare. You have to understand that. So how do we approach life where we're constantly getting these missiles fired at us? We're constantly getting these fiery darts thrown at us. Well, the Bible says there's just one thing. It's faith. Hebrews 11.6 says this. Without faith, it's impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him.